guys, and welcome to Apparently Textures Loading. There we go. <laughs> so we're here at uh, Milbry, a terminus as it says, connecting somewhere to somewhere, which I didn't read in time. But we're heading up to the next few stops on board this FP48, FH40P, yeah, F40. Old school Amtrak type locomotive, but this one's powering a Caltrain, of course. Uh, Commuter service with the double tier cabs of uh, coaches back there. Actually, you know what? Let's take a look before this starts. I want to take a look. There we go. Yeah. Look at this. Are these old oh, luggage racks. Yeah. I thought I might be sleeper for a moment, but that seems a bit weird. Yeah, we'll not call it that. This is a weird train design, I've got to say. It certainly packs the people in there. It feels more like a bus. Than a train. Hmm. Yep, it's closing. Right, let's get ourselves up to doing what we're meant to be doing, which is uh, hopping aboard this bad boy. Da, 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 da. Come on, door, thank you. Insert our reverser handle. Release the brakes. And we need to unlock the doors, is our next call, so. Unlock those, and we will load our passengers. We're on a nice fast route here, 75 miles an hour. Get all those doors open, get everyone on board. Although, weirdly enough, unlike northeast and other routes, they don't seem to actually get in. The doors are just open and people get on and off. So, is what it is. We should be loaded in just a few moments here. And there we go. some reason though. Flipping bell is on. Go away. Okay. Set direction. Release brakes. We're already released. And we're out of here. On to San Mateo at uh, 6.11. So we've got about five minutes to get there. I need to be able to learn to slow the hell down because that's one of the things I don't really... I'm not used to yet in something this fast, although this isn't really fast. We're doing 75, 80 miles an hour, but stopping at stations, not my greatest skill so far. I'm a freight driver. I'm not a passenger driver. But you know what? We're in beautiful California. Down here in San Francisco and San Jose area, so it's palm trees bright sunny uh, weather it's nice makes a change from all the rain in uh, well Pennsylvania slash area where the CSX stuff is Maryland we've got greens through here and we're 3.6 miles away from San Mateo which is where we're stopping at next should be a nice straight shot through here speaking of which I have heard rumours recently that there is a possible future multiplayer component coming to this game, which means that when you're doing freight work, yes, you'll be able to have a conductor on board. An actual human conductor who can actually help you. So the hopping on and off coaches, cars, switching things, suddenly ten times easier because it'll be like real life where you have a conductor to do all that crap. Rather than this where you have to do it yourself. Although yes, I am aware you can do it from the map and you can do it from this and that, but it's never seemed to play ball for me. Good job we went on that track, huh? That would have been a very short end to this video. So we're just doing about 60 here. We're not going to go up to full speed. We're only 2.8 miles out. Uh, crossing coming up. And a station we're about to fly through. No major problems there. Nice and easy. I've got to say, all the California scenery is really nice, especially with the low platforms out here with all those big double stacked cars and things. Very different to the northeast stuff that I've done so far in the New York area, but I don't know. I find it fun. It's a difference. It's one of the things I like about this game is the scenery. God damn it. That's ah, only a foot one. No time to run out of the way. So hard to see it with the flipping green light thing in the way. You can't quite see what's upcoming. 
I think I might be coming up another one. Alright, we're on time for that. We'll knock that back to idle, so we're just going to cruise along here. 1.7 miles. Gives us opportunity to stop in time. We've got about two minutes left to get there, and only 1.6 away, so we're making good time so far. Oh, God. I suck a train! There we go, flying across that. No problems there. Not sure why the textures popped in at the start. Oh, God. Too many crossings. Yeah, not sure why the textures popped at the start, which has never happened to me in this game. It's been particularly well optimized since it first actually dropped with the 2020 update. The performance I found in general with 2020 has been significantly higher than it was in the original game. So if you ever had performance issues with the first one, 2020 is a lot better. I'll have to go back and do some of the yard uh, jobs from CSX Heavy Hall to find out if there's a definite difference, but increasing performance is definitely a thing in CSX, not CSX, sorry, Trains in World 2020. Yeah. Should collect my thoughts before I do one of these rather than saying, you know what, let's do a commuter run. It's a nice 20 minute hop, it's nothing major. It's okay, we're coming up now, so I'm gonna have to start applying brakes. Let's throw some independent on here. Oh, we'll throw the... Yeah, we're going to have to throw everything on here. Full independent. Yeah. Uh, are we slowing down? Yeah, we're slowing down. Okay, we're, we're doing this. Knock off the independence. Knock off the automatic. And we'll just cruise it forward a little bit till we get to the stop, because I'm an idiot and stopped too soon. Although apparently it will actually let me stay here. So we're going to play with the game's mechanics and go... Right. Have I got an objective next? No, I don't. I need to actually just move forwards a bit. So we're actually on the platform. I thought it would actually let me... No, it will actually let me do it. So we're going to do that here. We're going to load and unload passengers without really being at the station. Yep, see, we've got one coach on the platform. Yeah, they can all board from that one and just hop into the other ones. No big deal. We're across the level crossing. The game doesn't care, apparently. Nope. Didn't actually land it on the platform. Stopped early. Yeah. I figured this should be seeing as they've increased the kind of points to apply for. Driving under the speed limit, over the speed limit gets you less points. You'd think actually having the train at the platform would count towards points, but no. As long as part of your train is at the platform, you're all good. Even though every passenger has to board and alight through one door. They're all running around now to make sure they're here in time. Knock this crap off. God, that's loud. Okay, so we're nearly loaded. Roll time, Hillsdale at 15 minutes past. I'm pretty sure I have a break on here. Yep, I did. And now it's suddenly super loud because that's one thing I have also noticed with 2020 is that sometimes it gets very confused as to whether you're inside and outside and suddenly becomes very loud in the cab. I'm going to just hold this thing down whilst we're going across all these crossings. Saves us time. Seeing as this one every darn block. We're going to have a change in speed restriction coming up, I believe. I can't tell what it is yet, of course. Uh, looks like a 79, so it's full throttle, baby. This time we hope to stop in time. That would be a good start. We'll just throw on the automatics rather than every anchor we have and stop real short. I'm loving how tight and confined these tracks are in this urban area, actually. Out here in California. Up in San Mateo. Look at this. It's all super built up and... Mm, it feels like proper American urban kind of train scenery. We're doing 50-ish. 
There we go. See, 30 points from the speed limit. If you're over, you only get 15 per one. Not that the points really help with anything, but I guess it's ego points. The more you get, the happier you feel, apparently. Even though they literally apply to nothing and don't qualify things like stopping in the right place on the platform. A friend of mine who actually works for Amtrak in a station in the northeast actually said that they have markers the drivers have to hit that they have to line up the cab with to alight everybody and they've got to be on position all the time so apparently we don't that's cool i can dig it i mean whatever we're at the platform kind of we've got the ability to get on and off yeah commuter and passenger services not my forte hauling lots of cars or something shunting switching doing that sort of thing but i can do it this meh not so much Okay, we're, we're under a mile out, so I'm not going to start accelerating now. Got our automatic selected here, so once we get to yards rather than miles, we'll start knocking it in. A bit late on the horns there, but we've got another crossing coming up, so we're kind of in time for that one at least. There we go. And we'll start knocking this thing down. At least the brake, but we're still slowing down overall. So we should arrive in here. We're about 45 seconds late into the station, but I'm good off British time. So we've got at least 10 minutes before we have to be at the platform, realistically. You know, if this was a British train, we'd be at least 10, 15, 20 minutes late. 10 minutes late leaving. Yeah. Sounds entirely appropriate. Alright, let's try and put all our cars on the platform this time. If we can manage this one. We're here in the same rough minute, guys. Calm down. Now we might need to actually work on this whole slowing down business. Oh god, we might be bang on this thing. Wow. We nailed that. I almost look professional. Look at this thing. We're fully on the platform. Like, every person who wants to get on board can. Oh, apparently there are rewards for finding stuff on platforms. So I'm going to run around here and see if we can find anything. No, that's all good there. That looks good there. I'm going to run down here. Don't mind me. I'm still loading passengers. There's plenty of time. You can find emergency signs, station notices, and other items to uncover, unlock, slash upgrade. I may have been to this station on one of the training missions, so I may have already counted this one. I mean, will it let me go down here? Oh, yes, it will. Can I just run off into the car park? Yeah, see you guys. Ah, That's so restrictive. Excuse me, I've got to get back on the train I'm going to drive. Nope, 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 nope. My cap, my cap, my cap. There we go. My seat. Okay. Brakes are off when we're off. So, objective completed. San Carlos at 2020. We've only got three minutes. It's 2.9. We'll be a minute or so late, I suspect, based on current uh, scheduling. But we're all good to go. So, yeah. Not a problem here. We're ahead of time on British rules. And I'm British, so we're following British rules. If the train gets there, that's a success. I think the best way to describe the British rail system is like Mad Max. Sometimes you'll make it, sometimes you'll be murdered by bands of marauding uh, people looking for water. And then there's the snack cart, who are basically bandits. I sound like I'm joking, I'm really not. Mm -mm, not in the slightest. Let's see if we can guess how to stop this thing again in 2.6 miles. So we'll ramp it up to slightly higher speed and we'll get there, try and make up time. Raised up here above the local scenery right now. I did actually pick up, you've seen I've got the Metro cab car thing. <gasps> okay, that's another track. Hi. No, uh, I have the Metro cab car, but I also have the SW1000 uh, switcher. And there are a couple of switcher missions in the New York yards, which I will definitely take you guys through in the near future. Those were a lot of fun. Um, a lot of visibility in those things. They are fantastic fun. I 
so a line that says, I assumed it was a crossing. I was wrong. Okay, we're two miles out, and we are 45 seconds away from being American on time. Well, let's say 44 seconds away from being Japanese on time. Those guys are masters of train scheduling. Whereas, America, I don't even know how you guys do it. Tell me in the comments. Are you guys on time? Are you guys late? I mean, is it because of a YOLO situation? Or are you more like the British where, like I said, if it makes it, that's, that's a winner. I'm sitting this horn every few minutes because it feels like a good thing to do. So, 1.5 miles out. We're flying through this platform without stopping. No, every station you stop at or can stop at, there are possibilities to unlock new warning notices, boards, things like that. Which gets you extra points in the missions. Again, not sure what the points do. Don't feel like they have any actual objectives to them. Unless they unlock scenarios, which I have not seen yet. Okay, we've got a mile to go. We're popping along here at just over 70. So we're going to start thinking about slowing down. God, that is beautiful, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh, the wind noise. That is pretty extreme. Oh, God. Uh. Yeah, this might be required. Should have been actually doing my job rather than looking at the shiny... Oh, we're so overtopping this. Come on. Stop, please. Ah. Oh, God. 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 Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. That was no bueno. Time to reset the systems. More level ground. I can knock the brakes off. That's where we stopped with a full emergency lockup. Everyone lost their drinks, their dinner, people got flung into bulkheads, but especially since we're standing up to go to the door to get off the train, I suspect everyone was thrown against the forward bulkheads. So we may have a couple of ambulances coming to the station, but how perfect is that? I mean, come on. That was a full zero, 70 mile an hour to lock up the brakes to arrive at the station. That is a badass. Miraki. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is about zoomed out as we get. Okay. Oh, well, let's get out of here, shall we? No, Bell, go away. Thank you. Pretty sure we got the doors. Let's do this thing. I said go away. No. And the horn was locked on. Fair enough, the game decided to take a bit of a brain poop right there. So we've got two and a half minutes to go two miles. Eh, we should make this as long as I remember to stop this time. Yeah. Again, I told you, passengers, not my forte. <laughs> Nor does randomly using emergency stop to bring the train into the station either. But again, eh, they don't seem to mind, so we'll go with that. Alright, 1.2 miles, it's still going to be 79. We've got a train in the zone ahead of us, so we need to make sure we're at least alert to that. Set to automatics in case we need to go full emergency again, which may happen knowing me. Not a huge distance to go right now. I'll take a look at all the pretty outside whilst we're not in hurtling through death and countryside. Oh yeah. Okay, fix the sounds, train sim. There we go. You have to cycle back and forth between inside and outside a couple of times and it actually works. There are bugs. There's bugs in pretty much every game, but they're workable. 
and it makes it a fun sim game to actually be able to try these things like I'm fully aware now that I would suck as a passenger train driver then again I'd probably be hired as driver of the year in England who knew okay so we're gonna knock it down from 70 a little bit early now because we're coming in under a mile and we want to stop this hunker hugger hugger Right, we're going to start applying some brake to bring this thing to a stop. Throttle's idle. 800 yards. And we're applying service brakes. Put lap on just to keep us actually maintaining that. Drop down. Need to put some throttle in here because we are definitely going to fall short this way. Way too. Uh, I think this might be our final station stop, Redwood City, but uh, we're a little bit overzealous this time with our stopping distance. So, 300 yards to cover. We'll keep it about 20 as we just roll into the station. Slightly more built up areas here. Redwood City, there's the sign. I'm assuming there's something important about Redwood City. Those of you Californians who are watching, let me know. Is it something important or is it just any old place? No, bad button, bad button, bad button. Okay, so the autos are on. Redwood City, which goes by the slogan, by government test, our climate is best. Wow. That's all you guys could think of. Roll down the windows, enjoy the summer weather, which whilst you allow passengers to board. Okay. I think I shall... Oh, wait, which side are we on? Yeah. Yeah. By government test, our climate is best, but you're in California, so it's probably not true. What with all the smog? Anything to discover? Yeah, we discovered a thing. We found a thing. At the route map, we found a thing. Any more things to find? I'm gonna go run. Ooh, hello. <gasps> yeah, San Francisco poster. We put up posters, we get points. Ooh, is a ticket machine to unlock? Yeah. All right, we're actually doing good stuff here. Shout out to my friend Walter, he loves school buses. Definitely not the people in them. Definitely just school buses. Gotta get back here to actually start this train before. Excuse me, gotta get through. I'm meant to be running this train. Yep, that's cute. Excuse me, bye. Yep. Uh, that's all for now. The service will continue south to San Jose. So I guess I'm not on board. Well, I hope you don't want me to ever be your train driver for a passenger service. Turns out it's a terrible idea, but uh, we did our best. So <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, look at that graph. That's pretty bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.